So today's topic is geometrical isomerism or cis trans isomerism. So what are geometrical isomers? The isomers which arises due to restricted rotation about a bond. Those are known as geometrical isomers or cis trans isomers. So first condition is molecule should have restricted rotation. So this condition requirement of this condition is molecule should have double bond either between C double bond, C, C double bond, N or N double bond, N or single bond in a ring. Either it has double bond or a ring, any ring. So rotation about single bond in a ring is also frozen, restricted rotation. Okay, second condition is atoms about which rotation is frozen are attached to two different substituent like HCl, HCl. So if, if, if same atoms or groups are on the same side of the double bond, then this is called cis isomer. And if they are on opposite side, this is called trans isomer. Cis trans. So this is the case of double bond. This C double bond N, C double bond N is oxide, is attached to OH on one side, lone pair on other side. These are two cases, these are known as aldo oxide. This is aldo oxide. In this case, again, there is a restricted, restricted rotation and two atoms attached or groups attached. Two atoms or groups attached are different on carbon. So they also exhibit geometrical isomerism, but it is known as if though both are on the opposite side, H and OH, that is called anti isomer analogous to trans and this one H and OH on same side that is called sin analogous to cis isomer this is just like trans isomer this is cis this is anti acetaldoxine this is syn acetaldoxine third category is n double bond n c6h5 c6h5 this is both on same side then it is known as syn or cis isomer if they are on the opposite side of the double bond, this is called anti or trans azobenzene. And double bond N is azo group. So this is azobenzene. Syn azobenzene or cis azobenzene, anti azobenzene or trans azobenzene. In case of a ketoxyme, we have instead of hydrogen we have 
two different alkyl groups. Now see, C2H5 group is on the same side of OH. So it can be defined as syn ethyl methyl syn ethyl methyl ketoxyne or anti methyl ethyl ketoxyne first alkyl group decides is it syn or anti you can write both ways आप इसको सिन भी लिख सकते हैं और एंटी भी डिपेंडिंग अपॉन विच ग्रुप यू आर राइटिंग फर्स्ट इफ यू राइट इथाइल फर्स्ट देन मिथाइल देन इट इज सिन इफ यू राइट मिथाइल फर्स्ट देन इथाइल सो इट इज एंटी बिकॉज मिथाइल इज एंटी टू ओ एच एंड इथाइल इज सिन टू ओ एच इफ आई राइट बोथ एज मिथाइल Is it possible to show tautomerism? Sorry, to show geometrical isomerism? No, it cannot show isomerism because carbon attached to the frozen bond is not attached to different atoms or groups. Same is the case with like we have propene. Again, there is a double bond, but two atoms attached on one side are same, so it cannot show isomerism. This is trans or geometrical isomers. In case of ring, if we have cyclopropane single bond in a ring, that has also restricted rotation. So it is cis because Cl are on the same side. So it is trans. So cis isomer, Cl on the same side, Cl on opposite side. That is trans. Now, if we have three types of substituents like CH three H. CH three, C two H five. Now we see these two. No need to think about this. Two methyl groups on same side. So it is cis isomer. And if same groups are on opposite side of the double bond, that is called. Trans isomer. Now, how do we calculate number of geometrical isomers if we have an alkene with more than one double bond? That is known as polyene. So, in case of polyenes, in case of polyene, if ends are different, if ends are different. For example, CH three single bond, CH double bond single bond, CH double bond. CH double bond. Let us take this case. In this case, we have three double bonds. So n is three. What is n? Number of double bonds. And what about ends? One end there is CH three. On the other end, CH two, Cl. So ends are different. And number of double bonds three. In this case, number of geometrical isomers equal to two raised to power n. That means it is equal to two raised to power three. It becomes eight. So in this polyene, no need to draw all the structures or write all the Probabilities, just do it. Number of geometrical isomers equal to two raised to power n. That means two raised to power three equal to eight. 
otherwise you have to make list like sis 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 trans sis trans sis sis trans trans or trans sis sis trans sis trans or trans 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 then sis trans sis so one two three four five six seven eight so these are the combinations but no need to write all this just say ends are different number of double bonds are 3 so it is 2 raised for n means total 8 now instead of different ends if ends are same then we have two cases case 1 if n is odd like this 1 2 3 n is odd double bonds are in odd number so in this case number of geometrical isomers equal to 2 raised to power n minus 1 plus 2 raised to power n minus 1 by 2 that means it is equal to 2 raised to power 3 minus 1 plus 2 raised to power 3 minus 1 by 2. So, it is 2 raised to power 2 plus 2 raised to power 1, 3 minus 1, 2 by 2, 1. So, it become 6. So, in this case, number of geometrical isomers are 6. If double bonds are in odd number and ends are same, let us increase one more CH, double bond CH. Now N is 4. So case 2, if N is even, So there is a change in formula only. Instead of 2 raised to power n minus 1 by 2, it becomes 2 raised to power n by 2 minus 1. To remember, you can say this even number is divisible by 2, but odd number is not divisible by 2. So it becomes n minus 1 by 2 in case of odd and in case of even, it is n by 2 minus 1. So, total 2 raised to power 4 minus 1 plus 2 raised to power 4 by 2 minus 1. That means, it is 2 raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 2 minus 1 means 1. So, it becomes 8 plus 2, 10. So, total isomers of this polyene containing even number of double bonds having same ends is equal to 